All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED light. Uh, this is episode 13, and today in this video, I'm going to talk about what's been going on with these plants. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and turn off the Max Bloom so you can see a little bit better. As you can see, I got the white light on it now. Uh, last episode, I did not turn the white light on because I've just been really, really busy, and everything's been just a rush, rush, rush for this and that. So. Anyways, today I have noticed that there's flower sites starting. And this literally happened within the past two days. So that means it's time to transition to bloom, which means that I have turned the full bloom mode on in this light, which is pretty much just these red LEDs. Let me turn off the veg mode so you can see them. These are two 50 watt cobs and they are at 100%. Turn that back on and turn that back off. And what I also did to make this entire experiment to be fair, as I have been doing this whole time, is I've made sure that the wattage on this light is matching the wattage on this light. And what I've done to do that is I've taken my watt meter and measured the wattage at uh, full power, minus eight watts, because the fan in that actually uses eight watts. And then I took that number and used it on the high bay with my dimmer switch hanging here. And that comes out to be about 207 watts. So this light here, uh, when you transition to bloom it, per manufacturer instructions is to have it 24 inches from the plant canopy. And that is exactly where it's at. And then for this light to match that, I use my Apogee MQ500 meter. I uh, use that to measure the are at the plant canopy which is right about there and that comes out to be about 700 micromoles and then I matched it on the high bay LED side so everything is about as fair as it can possibly get with this experiment and uh, I also changed out the nutrient solution because these things are thirsty within about a week it used three gallons of, of solution but that's okay because I had to change it anyways so I changed it to the uh, transition to bloom mix, as they call it here, on the General Hydroponics. Uh, it's right there, as you can see. It's basically two tables, two teaspoons per gallon of each of the type here. So this is the Flora Grow. Then you got the Flora Micro, and then you got the Flora Bloom, I think it is. So I made a solution of that, and then dumped it into there. And again, the aerators are underneath each pot. So that's it for this update. Uh, I will now, I will no longer be doing uh, twice a week updates. Uh, we will be doing once a week, probably on Saturdays. So hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.